right, one last strategy we want to um, model is the give one, get one strategy. How many of you have used that in your classroom? Okay, this is a great strategy to engage your students, get them up moving around so that they're kind of taking part and also holding them accountable for what they're learning. And what we're going to do for you guys is there is a question on the screen. It says, do you have a favorite vocabulary strategy? What is it? How does it work? So we've talked about several strategies. You read about some of them in the packet that you um, had at your table. You learned about some. But maybe there's one that you already use in your classroom that you would like to share. If not, what was your favorite one that we've talked about so far today? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a minute, first of all, to take your whiteboard and jot it down. You're going to actually think about it and write it down. And then we're going to, we'll have you get up and move around the room. But first of all, I'm going to give you one minute to think about the answers to those questions. non-threatening because you've given them time to think. Maybe you have a struggling student. You could kind of work alongside them to help them come up with an idea so they're not feeling threatened by this, um, this strategy. But it's a safe strategy to use, right? Okay, and you guys have all had opportunities that you've worked together. So if you wanted, you could steal a strategy from a friend, right? So you didn't have to feel um, maybe threatened by the strategy. So what you'll do is I'm going to put three minutes up on the clock. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually get up, not yet, and you're going to walk around the room and you're going to give a strategy and you're going to get a strategy. And you're going to share with what you have written down. And then you're going to listen to your partner with what they wrote down. Okay, so in that three minutes, I want you to try to circulate around the room and to get as many as you can or talk to as many different people that you maybe haven't talked to already today. When that three minutes is up, you'll come back to your chair and then we'll have one last little activity to do with that. But hopefully you're getting some new ideas. And again, if you're working with your students, they're hearing some different vocabulary or some different um, reflection, summarizing, whatever the topic is that you're teaching. Okay? So three minutes on the clock. Talk to as many people as you can. Go. All right, one last step to this strategy is that I would have my students come back to their table and maybe summarize an idea that they heard and write it in a complete sentence on their whiteboard or a sticky note or whatever you're using. So what I want to challenge you to do is to summarize one, but even better, if you want to be the A student in today's class, tweet it. So summarize a strategy that you heard and use the hashtag ESU10, okay? And we're going to get ready to switch. Emily's going to share with you. So use Twitter, or if you're not feeling like an A student today, you can use your whiteboard. That's fine, too. Okay? So summarize a strategy that you heard. <laughs> 